Right. Let's say uh, a p company like Modic has been doing the business only for production service, right? So we have fleet, we have scale, and we have 200 plus years of experience. So in reality, I mean, if we look at uh, build and operate the FPSO, uh, we must have certain value proposition here. Right? So the, the area which we can contribute is uh, like from this experience, and especially for the long-term uh, charter contract experience, we know what to build, we know how to build for operations. So in this regard, I mean, we can contribute a lot for e and &P player when they try to develop like uh, deep water or new areas of large scale production for the longer period of time, then it's a combination of how to build, what to build, and how to operate. So that's the area we can contribute a lot. Right, uh, there are a lot of interesting contract model uh, being introduced. Right? So it is all about a client interest how they want to structure the development. So it's about how their ownership is being taken, how their risk is going to be distributed from uh, client themselves to operators, how they want to strategize local uh, management, including local content, all those things. So all those things is like uh, into, the, into the considerations. And uh, I think always a challenge uh, of this topic is to calibrate what they want and how to structure co the contract and how to incentivize the uh, contractors like ourselves. Mm -hmm. So if those are matching, then the contract is going to be smooth. Right? If one side is going to incline to one way while contract is going to the other side, then that is going to be difficult. Okay, I think biggest change which we need to be ready is the dip disruption by the new things such as digital transformation. So that's exactly the area which oil and gas is somehow behind. But that trend comes, and the digital transformation for sure is going to disrupt the current environment. Disrupt in the way that how digital transformation will affect day-to-day -day operation and how to run the business. So if we are behind, then things will come anyway, and uh, people will basically lose the way. So this digital readiness is going to be the key for the next couple of years and uh, for, for the oil and gas in general, especially for production area where a lot of opportunities should reside.